Hello, Dwarf Thinking here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 5. We have to send a manned orbit for 72 hours, 12 days. So I'm thinking if we use one of our existing vessels here, not the Lancelot, that's our tourism. Uh, which one? Let's see, the Merlin is unmanned. Morgana is test vessels. I think it was the wart. Yes, the wart. MK3. Yes. The wart! Wart can get us up into the orbit. Eh, I might do a little tweaking of the old wart here. Just to give us a little more oomph. But, uh, you know what? This is not, this, the wart's not, that's not what we used. Was it the Merlin? Arthur. It was the Arthur. Okay. The Arthur got us, got uh, Jacob up into orbit. Oh yeah, he's got plenty of, he's got plenty of thrust. Alright, so. The Arthur here, um, took Jacob into orbit, and he was fine. Plenty of Delta V there. So, I think if we add in some of our stuff for survivability here. Life support waste hex can. Water. I wish it told how long it would support one Kerbal. We, get, we know about four hours in two... Well, we had one of these onions. Yeah, it had 1.1 food in that. And then this thing had... Uh, how much food did it have? No food, but water. But it did have water. Oh, no, it, it had 1.1 food as well. So I guess they had kind of similar... I guess they had similar food and water. A little more water and stuff in this one. Alright, so... And that lasted us about four hours. So if we look at the life support down here, this food is 16 instead of one. So that, that should be plenty to last for the duration of the 12 hours, I think. So let's just uh, pop that on there. Let's get some oxygen on there. And some life support supplies. Oh, this is food, oxygen, and water. Oh. Oh. All right, let's go with that. And then we'll get a uh, waste, a waste one. And then we got slots for two more. So let's do another waste. And then we'll do another life support. All right, so how much food? Now we've got 16 food, 10 water, 1,600 oxygen, and and plenty of room for the other stuff, for the bad stuff. I think that Arthur MK1 is ready for flight. Because it, it's actually MK2, right? Even though we didn't name the first one Mark 1, technically it is Mark 1. So we're going to go Mark 2. All right, I think we're ready. Who's gonna go up and survive for 12 hours? I think Jacob is. Jacob's the one. He's gonna go up and survive for 12 hours. You can do it, Jacob. This is a true test. I mean, obviously you will come home if you have to, but we want you to complete the mission. So, all right, for 72 hours, 12 days, excuse me. Oh, ha, oh. E, that's a whole different story. I was thinking it was 12 hours. Maybe we should add a little more of all of these. Is that still going to be enough? I don't, I have no idea. I need to look it up, but I still haven't. I'm a bad owner of Kerbals. I'm a bad Kerbal owner. We're going to, this is going to be our test. We're, um, we're going to test it out on Jacob. He's going to be our guinea Kerbal. <laughs> okay, are we ready? I think we're ready. Jacob's ready. He's gonna fly the Merlin. I mean the Arthur. Excuse me. Quit saying the wrong thing. 
We could possibly even take up a little satellite, huh? A little, little something something. No, let's not be crazy. Jacob, how are you feeling about your trip into space for 12 days? He's ready. Jacob is ready. He's giving us the salute. Ready for launch in three, two, one. Liftoff. We have liftoff. Everything looks great. Jacob's having a gay old time. I'm gonna throttle back just a little bit with the thuds to save a little bit of our fuel. We'll let the hammers do their thing. Get us up as high as possible before they run out of solid rocket fuel. Throttling up to 100%, detaching the hammers, and beginning our gravity turn. We are preparing for the lower stage separation. Lower stage separation complete. Continuing the gravity turn. All right, that, that is a beautiful ascent. We are on our way up to our apoapsis of 80K, and then we will begin our orbital insertion burn. Plenty of Delta V left, so no worries there. Jacob looks happy, he's clapping his hands. All is on target. All right. Let's get ready to do our orbital insertion burn at about 10 seconds or so here. Ready for orbital burn. Engage. All right, and we have an orbit. Now we have to stay here for 11 days, five hours and 59 minutes. All right, Jacob, this goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If at any point you feel like you are in danger of dying, please do not hesitate to abort mission and come back to the Space Center. It is not worth you dying. I repeat, if at any point you feel like your life is in danger, please return to the Space Center. Do not be a hero. Well, you're not someone to be a hero. Don't don't be a martyr. We need you for this for this uh, space program. All right, here we go. 12 days. Jacob, go ahead and do your EVA. I know you want to. You want to get it out of the way? Yep. Okay. Got it. Let's uh actually, you know what? Let's do an EVA over all the biomes while we're doing our waiting for 12 days here. Mountains. All right, we've got EVA over mountains. Thank goodness. All right, got that. <laughs> I think that's it. What about desert? Did we do that? I think I did the desert. Let's do one more, just to make sure. Yeah. All right, we've got all of them. All right, here we go. Now it's time just to pass the time and watch our supplies go down. Four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days, nine days, ten days, eleven days, twelve days. All right. Looks like we have completed our contract. He has been in space for 72 hours. You did it. Twelve days, 72 hours. All right. Got it. 63,000 funds for that. Awesome. Okay, so that's fantastic. Let's look at and see what we got left of our resources. Plenty. Plenty of resources. So probably one of the, each of these canisters would have been fine. Lesson learned. All right. 12, 12 days. One canister is fine. Two canisters. Extra good. All right. So let's turn on SES. Let's get ready to do our return to Kerbin. We're going to do a what I like to call a forced landing. Uh, it's a little more dangerous, but it's fine. 
We're going to try to land as close to the Space Center as possible. I'm awful at that, so... All right, we're going to go ahead and get ready to do our burn here. Oh, it's dark. Let's go ahead and wait till daylight. All right, now we're nice full sunlight, and we're going to get ready to do our burn. We're going to do our retrograde burn now, and see if we can get close down to Space Center here. Let's stop about right there. We've been coming up a little short, so we're going to try this. Jacob, did you have a good time in space, buddy? I think he did. Looks like he did. <laughs> Alright, let's just... Here we come. We are re-entering the atmosphere. No, atmosphere. Better to overshoot it because then I can burn a little bit. Yep, yep. Not to burn. Nah, it's fine. We're fine. Don't do it. Do it. No, don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Burn. No, we're fine. Do a burn. No. No, it's fine. Stop. Jacob. Do a burn. No. Don't do a burn. It's fine. It's perfect. It's right where we want to be. Right here. Do a burn. Do a quick burn. There you go. Happy Jacob. Did burn. Did burn for you. All right, here we go. Jacob is right. I should have done burn. Stop! 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 Jacob was right. Okay. Well. I did not mean to do that. That's gonna bring it all home. Oh well. Well, that's what you get. It's not listening to Jacob. I know it. Oh, well, you here. Got some upper atmosphere science. Yeah. Anything else we can get from here? It's all standard. Oh, standard. I did not mean to <laughs> jettison my... Uh, rocket, but that's fine. If I would have done that earlier, I would have landed right on the KSC. This thing is not aerodynamic. Do we have flying low stuff? EVA? No, get back on board! Oh, Jacob! No! Hopefully that chute will make it safely land. And uh, we can deploy our chute at some point. I'd like to see that thing shoot pop and not crash and lose all that science. And the shoot was already popped, so theoretically it should safely land, right? Uh, it looks like it's down there. Let's deploy Jacob's suit here. Or shoot. Oh, Jacob. You're a daredevil, aren't you? You're a daredevil. There's the chute deployed. Oh yeah. Jacob's in it for the high life. Go, Jacob, go, go. Go, Jacob, go, go, go. Can you land on that thing, Jacob? Wouldn't that be that? That would be awesome. Can you do it without crashing?
Oh, get on there quick before it splashes down. Oh my god. Alright, it's safe. And Jacob's safe. Can you swim, Jacob? Swim over to the pod. We want to make sure it's all good. <laughs> Let that be a lesson, kids. Even at parachute speed, going too fast for uh, EVA. The parachute wasn't fully deployed. I should have known better. Yeah, well. It's all good. All's well that ends well. Right? Let's see, son. Can you get on there? Alright, well. It's my recover. Them separately. Alright. Jacob. Got 11.2 science. No funds. No reputation. Let's recover this thing. All right, 25.6 science, 4,000 funds. Did we complete the mission? Yes, we did. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, smash that like button for Jacob. Not for me, for Jacob. Do it for Jacob. Ship or a burning thing. Even